Hey guys, what's up? It's Melkle Zunky, and welcome to my guide on how to do C2 scaling, both fishing and woodcutting. I do have some XP rates figured out for this, so I'm going to tell you exactly how much you can gain per hour. Um, you can see up in the top right, I have an XP counter here for one hour exactly of scaling. However, this is a bit off since I still have the 10% bonus for refer a friend. So the XP rates will be on screen, and I'll tell you them in just a second once we get around to the actual showing you how to do the method itself. However, if you need to train either your fishing or your woodcutting, and preferably both, I would recommend to come to Damonheim if you can stand this method, because some people can stomach it and some people can't. Um, you don't get any resources for this. However, when you're training fishing or woodcutting, you shouldn't be training through profitable methods anyway, since it's much more efficient and actually better money an hour to train through faster XP methods that don't make money, um, just because of time saved per hour. And uh, what you want to do is come to Damonheim, open up your ring, uh, go to any frozen floor, it doesn't really matter which one, and go to Complexity 2, and then climb down into the dungeon entrance. And it asks me if I would like to choose the next boss I'll encounter, since I have completed all the Damonheim tasks. If you don't have them all completed, you won't have this. So what you want to do when you're in the dungeon is trade the smuggler. If you have completed Damonheim tasks, you will already have coins in your inventory. And if you haven't completed tasks, just sell stuff in your inventory because you're always granted armor at low complexity levels. So if you, again, if you have not completed the tasks, what I would recommend to do is have cosmic runes bound. You can just go into any complexity 6 dungeon, sell stuff, buy rune essence, make cosmic runes, and bind them. And then you will be able to have uh, gate stones even in these dungeons. However, since I have all the Demonheim tasks complete, I can just use the Create Gate Stone, uh, which I get from my aura. So what you want to do is just proceed through the dungeon, um, clearing all guardian doors, and you do not want to go into the boss. So always make sure you have a Gate Stone dropped just in case you misclick and go into the boss room so you can teleport out. Um, but all you want to do is just go to these trees and fishing spots and just cut them and harvest the fish. Again, you don't get any profit from doing this, but it is quite good XP per hour. Um, and it's a very efficient way of training both skills at once. You can train one or the other. You can train strictly woodcutting or strictly fishing, and it will be slightly faster. Um, about 15k XP per hour faster in that skill, so 15k per hour fishing more, 15k per hour woodcutting more. But it's much better to train them both at the same time because it's a lot more experience per hour total. So that's what I would recommend. But anyway, um, I'll show you guys my results of training here for an hour now that you get the basic gist of this. And if you need to train your fishing and woodcutting, I'd highly advise to go here because this is the best way to train both skills at the same time. Or if you just need to train one or the other and you wouldn't mind getting some experience in the other skill, I'd recommend to do this too. This is not the fastest fishing or woodcutting experience in the game by themselves, but together it is very efficient and very worth doing. Okay, so this is an extremely sped up version of the hour that I spent doing some C2 skilling. And yeah, I did spend exactly an hour here. Well, an hour and like 30 seconds to be exactly, but it was pretty close. So I sped this up by 20 times just because, you know, we all got crap to do. We don't have time to sit through a whole hour of skilling. Um, so I can completely understand that. And just keep in mind that these XP rates are with me being level 99. Although when you are at least level 90 in the fishing and woodcutting skills, you will be getting the exact same uh, creatures as I am because what logs and fish that you get in your dungeon depends on your level and it will be the highest fish and logs that you can cut and fish respectively um, and also the second highest. So if you are level 90 fishing you'll get cave mores and blue crabs and if you're level 90 woodcutting you will get uh, grave creeper trees and um, the other kind of trees. I forget the name of them but whatever. Uh, so yeah, as long as you're level 90 in the skill, um, you'll get pretty much the same XP rates as I am because your woodcutting level does uh, not really affect how fast you catch the fish and how fast you cut the logs. It might affect it a little bit. That's I don't know that 100%, but I do know that it hardly makes a difference. Um, so anyway, this is about what you should expect uh, at higher levels. Of course, at lower levels, you're not going to get as much XP because you're going to be um, cutting lower level logs and harvesting lower level fish, but it still is worth doing. Uh, I did C2 fishing all the way from level 80 to 99 fishing, um, and it was quite fast. I really enjoyed it a lot. C2 fishing has since been nerfed a little bit, so it's not quite as fast as it used to be. Um, it used to be at level 
uh, 90 plus fishing you could get about 125k fishing xp per hour this is no longer the case but it still is pretty darn good xp um, the wood cutting xp is now better than the fishing xp it used to be the other way around fishing was better than wood cutting in c2 dungeons it does also depend on your luck a little bit um, because if you get rooms that have four fishing spots and two logs in them two trees in them which is the absolute best room that you can get if you get a lot of those per hour your xp rates are going to be much better i only got three of those rooms this entire hour which i think is a little bit unlucky you can usually expect more around four or five rooms like that um, i'm just going to call them full rooms i don't know if there's an official term for them but they're the rooms that you really want to be getting if you want max xp per hour and i only got three of them and i remember in the past i usually used used to get more like four or five per hour so um, the XP rates again do change a little bit de de depending on your luck so you can't expect this to be completely exact here's for example the third room that I got if you saw that on the screen it was only up there for like 10 seconds but yeah uh, the room with four fishing spots and two wood cutting spots however I kind of enjoy this method myself as I said I did do this from 80 to 99 fishing so um, I must have enjoyed it at least a little bit but unfortunately I did not cut wood while I was training and that was a big mistake so don't make that mistake. But anyway, thanks for watching and farewell.